Hey love bugs, this is Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, you know, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe and insight you know please give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated you know seeing so much love light protection and upliftment for whatever you're you know you may be facing right now you know or you know just to be able to brighten up your day i send all that love to you and it's even for the negative people much love to you as well but if you're coming here with hidden intentions trying to find something you can just distract destroy or block i'm sending all that right back to your returning sender 10 million times fold. So mine's going to be love, light, healing, and upliftment. Okay. The video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, your enemies see you as a major problem because they don't want to admit you're the perfect solution. It is true. I was, I forgot what I was listening to yesterday and I was thinking about that. And, you know, you go through different things. And I don't know why Nicki Minaj popped up in my head. Because it was these two videos that I shared on my channel one time. And it was just like, I guess she was on The Breakfast Club. And she was talking about Angela Yee. Um, and I guess they were talking about Safari or whatever. That anybody who knows Nicki Minaj and Safari. And she was just like, um, you know, what happened or whatever. I forgot what happened. But she was like, you know, she was like, we were dating. And, you know, he was hurting inside. And, you know, he shitted on me. He shitted on me. And then, next thing you know, he got shit it on. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> you know, you're doing this stuff like that. And it was just different things where you don't realize. I tell people, hey, because the more you allow yourself to be teachable, you're allowing yourself to uh, dedicate your life to transformation constantly. You're, you're constantly upgrading yourself, you know, whether you want to or not, because it's just like you notice a lot of things will start getting difficult, where it's feeling like it is the torture chamber of all the things you're experiencing. But you did not realize you have upgraded so much. So when you're upgrading it, you know, life is teaching you more. Life is helping you heal more, grow more you know different things that you had to really see because a lot of times when we're going through negative things and you know things get hard you know, it gets to that point like you know what this is too daggone much you know but it's just like you know universe ancestors god you know your guides and all that stuff they say yeah it may be too much but we we put you in a vibration we put you in a position that you never thought you even qualify for and for these to happen you have to go through these situations and it's just like when people see that with you you are really triggering there you know they fear you they intimidate you because it was like when i was thinking about uh you know uh nikki again she was in this daggone interview and she was just like you know people are like why why don't she fall off you know uh why don't she quit and she's like i'm not going nowhere bitch i'm not going anywhere i'm, I'm here to stay you know and it'll be just different stuff like that and it'll be like that when you see that you are a powerhouse within your own self you know, uh, you're doing different things into your life where, you know, you really stick out. You really, really stick out. And different things like that to where you you really don't know there's something about you that nobody else has but you you know all of us are rare all of us are unique in our own way you know it'd be different things where people you know i even told y'all here where i know how there will be several people that use you know my content and being able and see as soon as i said that i must be on the correct path where people use my stuff regurgitated and made it as their own and it would be different things like that now help me learn from that you know it kind of be irritating when people do that but it's just like in in a low-key type Type vibe if you really step back you know they'll let you know you must be doing something good to where people are willing to steal your material and use it as their own and it'll be different times that really taught me a lesson like when I see something on um, different videos or I can say I was talking to somebody don't go into detail about it and then I'll, I'll reply back to something I was like Dang, that was dope you know I was like oh let me use that as content you know it'll be different times you know you you have been with me for a while you'll see like hold on y'all gotta write this down real quick and it'll be those different things and I say I can really run with that you know freestyle you know cypher whatever and do those different things um 
that really truly you know it's like this is what we need to talk about these are different things you know you you know it'll be different times where i say i, I don't got a time for people they always can find a problem to every solution instead of a solution to every problem i ain't got time for folks like that i don't remember i said that to my daughter one time she bust out laughing like mom what did you say I said, I don't have time for people that are always finding a problem, you know, to every, you're always making a problem for every solution instead of a, a solution to every problem. You know, I don't have time for that. But it's just the fact is you, you're being used to uh, being at that time. Yes, it can be very aggravating when people are stealing different things. And it's like, why don't you be original? So it would just be like, you know, hey, it would be different things where people come back. You're like, Rosalind, we see that you, you know, you're moving through experience. I don't have to take material from different things. But if I do, you know, bring up something like, oh, I watched this today and I want to give a shout out to this person, this person. I'm not going to take credit for something I know I stumble up on. It was meant for me to know. And then it was just traveling on. I'm going to give credit while credit's due, you know, and it'll be different things where I'm going through. And it was just like, you know, I don't agree with different things that are going on in the industry or whatever but it was just like I always know that Nikki was always you know outspoken and she always be having me laughing at her and it was just you know she's like no no it's not gonna make me fumble my bag you know I'm just not gonna do that you know and I mean love it was like people used to laugh at me when I do uh Nikki like that but it would be just things it's just like when you, you become a narrative when, when you're allowing yourself to be aggressive and you're being aggressive you're being confident or you, you know you really you know being out there where you really know what you want and I'm gonna get it you know nobody's not perfect you know we go through different things but this is this is what we're learning from you learn from your your goods and your bads you know you got different things that you're facing right now that people don't even know about you got battles you're really dealing with that you don't expose to other people you know you just I'm fine you know we be doing that I'm fine you know going do, through different things like that and it's just like you become that person that people love to hate and hate to love you. You know, be different times where people are just watching you around the clock on, on, on different social media and different things like this. I got different people that got private accounts and they hate on me, but they watch me all the time, you know. And it will be different things where I had to learn lessons from toxic people or I had to learn lessons from insecure people I had to be able to learn the difference between me and my toxic self or my low self esteem self and I'm learning from all those different things and being able to change up where I can appreciate these different things that took place you know it makes me make better decisions on situations where I've been in situations that it ended abruptly in a negative way or it's just when we parted ways in a positive way and those are the different things that I can truly be blessed for you know it's like all the time the universe always try to lead us towards that part where you don't have to see things as a negative or a positive but just being things that you had to learn and this is what we're doing within the situations of us being you know us growing us transforming you're healing you're appreciating those things because it's like so many different things that I go through where I see where people you know constantly going out their way to make me look bad or they're constantly out their way to want to lie on something just to make you know their life feel interesting or they need that attention because they want to play victim or different things like that and I had to allow myself to know when I know I'm secure inside with my heart there's nothing that you can do to me that's going to make me second guess my worth you know and if there's anybody who really loves you they actually love themselves they wouldn't put you in a position to make you feel insecure like that so I had to be able to allow myself not take it personal you know different things that happen in your life where you know people want to poke and probe or they want to make you jealous off of things like that you're they you really intimidate them for them to want to always throw you off saying oh you know I got this and I got that and they're doing it just to take a jab at you because it's like you know not everybody's going to have their glow up at the same time. You know, you're not in competition. I tell people, I, I hate it when folks be constantly trying to bring you into a competition. I'm like, I'm not playing that game. The only person I'm in competition with is myself. If I see that I did something, you know, I need to correct. Like, it'll be a different thing that I, I may be in my feelings, but I'm trying to do something positive, be able to, you know, uh, you know, have a private you know outlet you know a positive outlet and I come here and it may be something like you know don't don't bring that up in there you know go ahead redo the video and I'm critiquing myself but it's just like you know I don't allow myself to get frustrated because 
that's where you're learning at. You know, if you know, you're like, girl, you going? Why are you doing that? You know, don't be sitting up here talking about somebody like that, or don't be putting that out on Front Street or anything like that. Not low balling because it's just like you know, when I say something, it's not to be able to make somebody mad or you know, trying to hit below the belt. But if it's me telling the truth, it's like, yeah, I was in a toxic relationship. Or, yeah, I dealt with narcissists. You know, I deal with people that is trying to go do all the thing they can to try to silence me because they don't want that truth coming out. It is not how you gonna get mad if that's the truth. You know, I'm not gonna get. You know, I had different people come back and tell me, hey, why don't somebody made a video about you? I'm like, oh my god, what? Let me watch it and I'll be laughing. I was like, bless their heart. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know you you thought of me in that way. But obviously, you know, I must be a thorn in your side for you to really. You don't want to take the time out to make a video about me being a fraud when everything is real about me anyway. But, you know, hey, go at it. You know, different things like that. I've had different people, hey, you know, send me a DM or something like that. Hey, you know, I'm coming up on a YouTube channel. Um, I see that you keep predicting things that actually happen, whether it was a year later or, you know, it happened a few days. You know, hey, can you, you know, you, can you help me out and give me something so I can say I said this so I can, you know, bring people in the following. And I'm like, you never want to start off being a fraud. You never want to you know start off stealing other people's situations and try to say is this a habit I say some people can you know can throw something out there and say this is you know word of bond you know this is in gold and it could be something that they just did just to make you look stupid just to put that out just to make you look stupid and say yeah this is happening you do that you always have to trust your own instincts it's like you read something and I find it interesting and I'll go back and allow myself to do the research on that because I'm not saying a person's lying or anything like that but it was like oh this is interesting and make you want to find out more about these certain subjects that you had to stumble on you just so happened to stumble on that was guiding you towards the next level anyway or there are certain things that you needed to learn more more about certain situations that you're helping yourself grow so being able to be appreciative of that and then, you know, learn different things that's taking place in life. And, uh, you know, really, I'm back. Um, you know, you're going through different things in life where, you know, you may be having a bad experience on, you know, you know, starting up your own business or you may have a, a, a drastic situation where, you know, you're trying to keep a, a relationship or marriage together, different things like that. And it, it's just like a lot of times you don't realize that you, you know, when I always tell people when you're a Hayoka, you, you become a walking trigger, you know, and I tell people when you when you're open to be teachable and you know versus saying, you know, hey, I want something great to happen in my life. I want to be able to do something that I really enjoy. You know, don't want to see like it's forceful, but it's something that I want to apply towards my life to keep, you know, growing. And when you're doing that, like shoot, we were just waiting on you. You know, and then the next thing you know, you you're allowing yourself to do that. And there'll be a lot of times people are gonna really appreciate the things that you're talking about, you know, make them look at life differently, you know, different things. It's like, wow, I didn't know that, or you know, wow, you know, you make it makes sense, you know, you're going through this. But if it will be different people that are threatened by that with you. It's like, why does everybody listen to her? Or why does everybody pay attention to him? You know, different things like that. You have to allow yourself to not take it personal. You know, there's something about, you know, people that despise you or intimidated by you or fear you. They, they see something in you they, they wish they had in themselves. And I'm like, actually, you do. But it's, it's, it can't be... You, you can't find that through hurting people. You can't find that through distraction. You can't, you know, find that through belittling people. it will be different things in your life where you have to really say, you know what, I, this is a part of myself I really, really need to truly heal because this can really send me down a bad path if I allow myself to keep moving in that way. Or if I want good things to happen to me, I actually have to put in work. Because there will be just a lot of times where people... Oh, put so much energy in on trying to block you. It'll be so many different energies people are trying to do to make you look bad, you know, or different things that where they're comparing or they're watching everything you do. And it's like that same energy that you're using to try to, you know, take somebody down. You can use that to build yourself up. Why, why does it have to be that way? And you miss out on so many different blessings when you're focused more on other people when you need to be focused on yourself. And then when you're allowing yourself to be able to do that, that's just like, you know, I use different things where I know it, it was just like if you're tired of what you're getting you have to change to what you're giving you know and it got that time where you don't you t you take me for granted you don't appreciate me you know um and you're constantly like being you know you're constantly trying to annoy me let me allow myself to draw back you know allow you to be 
by all that by yourself. Like, you know, I, I need stability in my life. I need positivity. This is draining to me. You know, if that was something that you want to do, okay, I'm going to respect that. But I'm moving it because this is not the choice I'm going to be able to entertain. I'm trying to do something better in my life, and I can't do that, you know, focusing on you. I need to focus on myself and not worry about different things like that. And it's just like you, you become that solution. But you're also, you know, when it comes to negative people, you are that problem. You know, and it'll be different times where I, I know when I'm having people watch on me. I know when people are eavesdropping and stuff like that, and you're triggering yourself. And I'm, it ain't even based off of you. This is my life. I'm, I'm not worried about what you're doing. I'm focusing on me because I want my life to be better. There'll be certain entities and energies I'm past ready to get away from. And I know that I've grown, so I, it's just not something I want to stay lingering around. So I focus on me and using that same situation when I know if there are certain things that I, I don't want to tolerate or I not want to entertain. I'm going to work my butt off to make sure I don't have to keep constantly dealing with stuff like that and move forward. But also appreciate that if I said if I didn't have toxic environments, if I didn't have negative people, if I didn't have things that where it made me question myself, how would I know what part of my life that I really need to focus on so I can be able to, you know, come into a common ground and being able to do that. It, it's hard to be able to do that at times. You know, it really takes in work, but it would be just like, this is where your benefits come from, you know, because there'll be so many different people that are trying to do everything they can to make sure you don't have a come up. There'll be different times where people are doing everything they can to make sure you're not seen or, you know, they want to be able to question your worth within yourself or, you know, trying, you know, people would be trying to sit up here and say you're a fraud, you know, different things like that. And, you know, it's just like those are the things you can't control. And, you know, and when you're allowing yourself to focus on that, you, you'll see that it would be sometimes it's hard to do, but we can't take it personal. It's just like when people constantly do things like that to try to always, you know, try to hurt you, that's more about them and it's less about you because it's like when people are on their grind, on their bag, they're not going to be focusing what other people are doing and that's not what I do. You know, I say I focused on me. Even though I got all these different eyes focused on me, I'm still focusing on me. You know, and still allow myself to go. But a lot of times, you know, you will see people that don't want to support you because it's you, or they feel like, oh, they can't get this blessing if I don't help them, or oh, you know, let me go ahead and place resistance or block them from this because they're get they're gonna, you know, they won't get their blessings if they do that. If it will be a group of people doing this, uh, they won't get that. And you have to understand that's not how God works. That's not how God blesses people. Regardless, if you not want to support that person, I'm gonna give them that you know that energy to know. They can support themselves. You know, you can still do that. Even when you have to be your own cheerleader. You know, there'll be different people that don't want to do that because they see something in you they don't want to grow. They see different things where they know when you get to a certain vibration and, and, and that energy is not matching with that. You're going to part ways and, you know, say deuces and keep moving. You know, and people know that. They cannot take away something that God has for you. You know, when things are meant for you, God's going to give that mess to you. And it'll be just a different time. I notice a... Uh, uh, like when I'm charging my my, uh, my my computer and it'll be different things like, you know, God's blessings are for you. It is not determined on what people think that you deserve, you know, because God, your, your, your blessings not built on what people think. Oh, they don't deserve that or I need that or they can't get that. This and this and that. When God has something for you, it's going to always be for you. You will never miss anything that was meant for you. Regardless of what people are doing, and that's where people got that conception. Or if I support that person, they're becoming big, and I'm not going to do that, so they're not going to do it. God is going to still rise up. They, God will give you a mustard seed, and you can make a whole daggone crop, you know, a field for the crop just with that one seed you got. You know, and you don't. A lot of times, you have to be able to do things on your own. A lot of times, you're going to have to, you know, go go to the back cave to really get life figured out. And that's a lot of times that's what I do. You know, I had to really look back at life and see what I was thrown through the different things that I've gone through, different things that, you know, I, I felt at one time I regretted. And, you know, I had to allow myself to not go through life resenting, you know, um, certain situations, certain people, because it's just like if I didn't go through toxic relationships, what I really know when I want in a person that, you know, I already know I can build with. I don't have anybody in my life that's trying to tear low, low you know, low-key trying to, you know, bash me or anything like that, or if we talk about something it's not broadcasted over the whole world or whatever, you know, those different things. So I love the fact that I was in toxic relationships. I love when the fact is I had to deal with toxic people, you know, because it allowed me to know this is what 
this is what this is about. You know, you're, you're both teaching each other what you really need to heal on, what really needs your focus, what is it, your low self-esteem. You have to be able to build your self-esteem up. Not everybody, no, nobody's perfect. We all got issues in certain kind of ways. There'll be just some of us, we come through a divide. There's some people that you met here that are just okay being. You got some people that are just okay with stealing stuff from different people and call it their own. You just got some people that the way they power themselves up by bringing other people down. But there'll be different people that want to see you thrive they're going to help you get to that next level you know they want to see something better into yourself even when they catch you slipping they tell you stop slipping on yourself stop sleeping on yourself you got so many beautiful things coming in life and i see your potential but i want you to see your potential and you gotta understand too also you know with the negative naysayers they see your potential that's why they try so hard to bring you down all the time you know, that's why they always do things to just poke in your buttons. You know, you could be doing things and you're having a good time you're being happy. And that, you know how that can kill somebody who is in, in a negative vibration? That can really kill somebody because you're, you're doing different things that, you know, that uplifts your life. You're doing different things that make you happy. You know, you're connected with things that don't have to be result in drama. You know, and those different things. And that they, that's a permanent solution. That's a perfect solution. You don't have to always be that way. But if it's just the things that you really want in life, there'll be some times where people are overnight celebrity and they stay there. But it'll be different people. You have to work to two for them. To be able to create something that's powerful that you, you try to leave lineages for. You want to be able to pass that down in a legacy. And sometimes it takes a lot of time for that. And it will be different th different things where it set resistance to me. And it really never really showed me how much I had to really keep putting in for myself. i would be different time like, oh my God, I got to make a video and this, this and that. And it will be just like, universe is telling me to sit down. Be sitting in all kinds of spirit totems to me. Like, girl, if you don't go sit down somewhere, reset. You know, you've been pouring out of everybody's cup. Now it's right. It, time for you do you have anything left for yourself you can't be everything for everybody else and not be nothing to yourself these are those different things that you you really truly had to be able to step back for and it would be torture to me because I really love doing my videos I really love doing my podcast and I learn so much just from the things I'm speaking on and it would be a beautiful thing where there's so many people that can relate to that you know you're going through a change and that change is not easy you know, you're dealing with a lot of stuff where, I mean, it puts you in all type of crazy moods. You know, you'll be one day, you know, there may be different people that mock you because you're depressed. Or, you know, people poke fun because you're sad or stressed out. And it'll be just the different things. Normal people don't go doing stuff like that. When you, you have to be in a, a dark situation or you have some kind of self-hatred on you where you take pleasure out of seeing people hurt. But it'll be different people that'll come in. And say, you know, I want to be able to be, I don't want to be that person that you always hear to laugh with and you have to cry by yourself. I want you to be able to, you know, if you got to cry, go ahead and cry, you know. It'll be okay. I'm not going to use that against you or anything like that. And it's like, hey, you, you want to talk about it? Or, you know, it'll be different people that distance themselves. And you have to be able to not take it personal. Like, oh, they're mad at me. But, you know, if you're an overthinker, you'll be coming up with so many different scenarios. And it could be nothing that's even about you. They could be just dealing with something. And you have to not take that personal. But if you can be that person, like, hey, if you need to, you know, if you need to chat, hey, I'm here with you. I'm here for you. You know, you want to, you know, hit up. And it's just like, there's a, that's a good thing when you can have people in your life. You know, it's just when I had different situations in my life where I had more negative people in my life than positive. It was all about the things that I chose to attract. And I didn't realize those different things until I went on this ultimate spiritual awakening six years ago, going on seven. You know, and it just really made me look at life different. You know, I learn every day and I appreciate it every day. Even it could be something that just really, you know, just really irk my soul. But then when I allow myself to get out of my feelings and I say, you know, I, you know, thank universe and God for that. Because you're really showing me, you know, what I need to really, really work on. You know, really do those things. So it will be just different things where I'm allowing myself to heal. And you're seeing the blessed out of every situation you're becoming to. And the different things that you know how to change. Different things you know how to heal. You know, different things you have to really draw yourself back from. You know, because you're seeing right now, this is that situation where you're closing cycles up. So you're seeing a lot of things that's just like going away from you. And it will be, you know, not everybody can go on that journey with you. And these are the things when you're allowing yourself to stay focused on you. You know, you're going to have a challenge or two where, you know, people want to try to get out, get in where they can fit in because they feel like, oh, if, you know, if I do this and this and that, you know, that person can't go on that journey without me. You know, they can't do this, and, you know, if I can't go, you know, there'll be different things like that. But it's just like when you stay focused on you, you know, your, 
where you're leading to is not based off of what other people say that you deserve or you don't deserve or where they say you can and can't do. Because if you're putting in that work, something good going to come in for you. You know, something good is coming in for you. There'll be different things where I sound clean move on this side because it's just like I can see, uh, like, uh-uh. You know, I see where it's going to, but you just refuse to, you know, you know, transform. You refuse to heal. Let me go stay on this side because I already see some stuff about to pop off. I'm going to go ahead and mind my own business and leave it all yours alone because I don't want that life. I don't need your situation. And just going about my life. But it will be just different things where I appreciated those things. You hold ultimate solutions. You know, even a lot of times we don't even realize it. It's our toxic attachments have solutions to that. Because you'll see the different things that's going on. Because it was like, with me, I had to always put extra love in myself. Because it was just like me. It was like my inner child situation where I constantly brought people around me that truly just, you know, used me just to, you know, I was a plug to them. And they, they used that. They used my, my weakness over me. And I'll be at that time where I, you know, I love being by myself. You know, I had to be, you know, watch 24-7, you know, see what I'm doing. But it was just like, I'm only focused on me, you know. When, you, when, you're, when you're taking your power back, that, you know, that kind of triggers people when they can't manipulate you. It's just like anytime you put boundaries up, people are not going to be mad at you for that because they want you to be able to respect their boundaries too. But there'll be different people that want to bogart all that over. And that lets you know people get mad. When, when you put boundaries up, because the fact is that, that means that's eliminating the manipulation that they can't do. You know, they, they need you as that source supply to empower themselves, you know, to be able to do different things. And then when you're allowing yourself to not give that your attention, you, you, you're allowing your, your energy to be placed on different things where I can say, I love being drained when I'm being productive. I love being drained when I know I did a lot of different things and I was doing things to, to better myself or, you know, when I'm giving back to, you know, to, to the world or, you know, I help somebody, you know, encourage them to uplift them or, you know, I was just a person that somebody just needed somebody to listen to. Those are the beautiful things that I love being able to say, you know what, I love those kind of productive drains. But I also know when there's different drains where you, you need to get a cry out. That's fine. You know, I tell people you have to be able, right now, there is like everything's coming to the surface where everything is sensitive right now, really sensitive. And it's just telling you this can no longer be suppressed anymore. There'll be different sites and attachments and people you just gonna have to really cut away you know and then focus on you so there's a lot of different things that you're going through where you're gonna be agitated you're gonna be aggravated you'll be ready to fight you'll be you know mad at the world you want to cuss God out universe and you know tell them where they can shove it in this and this and that because you're going through so many different changes and you're heightening up everything and for that it's gonna really be drastic it's gonna be very uncomfortable because you're going to really, it's going gonna, gonna to feel like resistance. But this is that thing because you're you're going through that grieving process to where the old can no longer exist. You don't close that out. So I mean, anybody who's done that, congratulations to you. Because there will be so many different people are talking about you passed the test. You know, in the assignment, I just did a video about that the other day. Where everybody, because I kept on hearing pass the test. Your karma's clear. You know, and these are the different things. And now you're critiquing these things before you know you go into a major shift you're going through a major breakthrough you're going through these different things and I'll make you look back and say I'm glad that I had people that doubted me I'm glad that I had people that it it on me you know I'm glad that you know I had people that step back on me because those are the things that I needed but I also I'm glad I had people that encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing it helps not just you I've been helping you more than you know I hear that a lot or there'll be different things where you know you're making sense to some kind of confusion I didn't even understand it you know and I get those different things but I needed the good and the bad to be able to get where I was because those are the experiences that helps you grow these are the things that nurture your soul when you're allowing yourself to be teachable this is like a lot of things when we want ultimate change in our life it's going to be those times we're going to have to make ultimate sacrifices and sometimes it's, that means you're going to have to disappear at times you know could be a lot of times I, oh, I want to do a video this and this and that and it's like you, you have to be able to recharge yourself it'll be sometimes you have to be very heavy on self-care and if people want to think you're being selfish for that that's not selfish because you 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 are you you know you're going to be with you until God says it's going to call you home you know the devil going to come knocking with it whatever the one it is you know depending on what you're doing you know but you, you're having to be able to do that because a lot of times right now it's just like 
I used to love being able to talk on the phone or, you know, be able to have video chats with my friends and stuff like that. But there's so many different changes that I'm going through where I have to focus on me. I have to shut everything down, not be on social media, you know, listen to my uh, my meditations. And especially October is my favorite year. That's like Christmas to me. So all horror movies is coming on. So it'll be different things that I want to watch or whatever. And these are the different things that I'm just like, you know what, this is really helping me grow when I sit back, you know, journal. And it's really allowing me to pour my heart out being able to understand why certain things are the way they are you know going through these different challenges that I'm really challenging myself because it's not easy to go through change you know when you've been going at a certain frequency certain vibe for so long and you switching up like that that is not something easy to do you unlearning everything that was built to you where you where you were not supposed to speak on what you're not supposed to look at what you're not supposed to talk about all those different things to where you're seeing where the illusion that has came on from generation to generation to generation and you're swipping you're, you're really you know switching up gears to where you can make things better and for that that mess is not easy to do that's why you were picked to be able to do that and for you to be able to stop something that can't occur again life is never going to be easy for you it is never going to be easy for you but these are those different things it's like but it, it was just like we can get to that point where i was like you know what i'm tired of going through these different things i'm tired of going through these these repetitive cycles and stuff like that and it'll be just like when you're going through these repetitive cycles and you're allowing yourself to take out the loop you're allowing yourself to see what you had to take away or what you had to realize or what things were spotlighted for you that really was teaching you something and then when you're learning that you're going to the next level but you already know if you didn't learn from these situations you didn't really see from all angles how would you have been able to know what that you need to heal what things that you had to take away from what you need to focus on what you had to stop focusing on you know different things that you had to be able to not talk about anymore and it would be different things like that so it would be just even times like I said here I could be doing a video and it'll be something I, I mean it could be something I wrong me my feelings about and then I'm just like mm, don't do that don't don't project it's like don't project don't project this is a positive time but it'll be different times where universe want to use me when i'm really feeling vulnerable and it'll be different times when y'all see me where i'll be like oh i'm not trying to cry i'm not trying to cry i'm not trying to cry because there'll be different things that i can feel amongst others that even you haven't watched the video yet because i feel that pain that you're going through even you know i try to have a deeper understanding about people that hate me you know or different people that you know would want to be feared or intimidated by me or just you know just downright just acting ugly i had to really understand where they were coming from and it'll be times where i'm like okay that's just them being them you know you ain't gonna be the first person they gonna do that to you ain't gonna be the next and it's just like when you're allowing yourself not to be manipulated and stuff like that you become the evil villain you know i said i'll be that you know it's like you know why are they saying that oh because i you know i i, I want to tone to different toxicity they're doing oh i want to allow myself to be disrespected i'm not gonna allow myself to be triggered or i'm not gonna allow myself to be controlled so i, I mean I'll, I'll i'll be that you know i'll be okay you know different things like that when i'm securing myself and know who i am you know the different things that come back to me they ain't gonna bother me you know, and it's just like I, I'm not going to be there and correcting every lie that somebody put out about me because there'll be a lot of times where people aren't going to like the new you. People are not going to like the things that you have become where they, they can't be able to benefit off of those different things and see your life. You know, and when they do that, you know, when you stop talking about people, talking people, they start talking about you. And hell, sometimes you, they were talking about you when you were still talking to them. So it'll be different things where I keep my business to myself. If I said if I don't want it to be announced everywhere, I keep things to myself. You know, if I want to make, you know, some really big moves, I keep that to myself. You know, it'll be different things that you really, you know, I learn from all these different things from doing my platform. it be different things that I was really happy about and I wanted to be able to share with y'all. But I had people that were really didn't want to see nothing good come out of my life. So they try to block every little single thing. And I tell people, if it's not something that's dipped in stone for you or it be something that can be, you know, is reversible, keep that to yourself. Move in silence. People can't stop what they can't see. They can't attack things. They don't know the areas to attack. You know, you come out when you when you want to go ahead and announce something. Let make sure it's like nothing can be touched, no nothing can be duplicated. It can't be sabotaged or anything like that. And you put it out. I see people like, why didn't you tell me that? Why would I tell you for it? when I already know good and well? You feel like nobody can be happy but you, and you're gonna try to block my blessing. Why would I tell you that? I learned many a times not to do that. You know, there'll be different times where people get mad. You know, because they want to be able to, I don't understand why only one person can be happy. Nobody else can be happy unless it's them. So, you know, I was just like, hey, I, I, I really be trying to put myself in your your level to understand that type of lingo you're talking about. I, I, 
I can't, I'm not fluent in that because I want to see other people happy, but it's just like, it's not going to be happiness off of sabotaging other people. It's not going to be happiness off of belittling people. And I said, when it's, when it comes to people that are in that vibration, it just does that. You're getting triggered about me healing. If that's triggering to you, baby, then you got a long way to go. You know, and it'll be different things where I benefit on glad, I, you know, just being able to peep out something and I'll tell people, oh, I know what you're doing. You know, you want to argue. I'm not going to argue with you. But I'm just like, you know, I know I see what you're doing <laughs> and it's not working with me, but I'm going to let you do that anyway. You know, I'm going about your business or half of the time. I just don't say nothing just because I already know you're waiting for a reaction. And me not saying nothing was that perfect reaction because I already see you did it just to see if you can get up under my skin. And I was like, I don't know how people get empowered by hurting other people. I really don't. I really don't because it's just like I don't feel good about that. I, you know, I'll be that type of person that. You know, I want to see you happy. You know, I was just, I like my life to be simple. I don't like drama in my life. I want to be able to, you know, be around people I can trust that actually care for me like I care for them. I don't like be around somebody that you, you like, you really sucking up my air. I can't deal with that. <laughs> that, that. That's dangerous. But, you know, allow yourself to know. You, you, you know, enemies are going to see you as the problem, you know. But with you and your transformation, your change and your healing, you become that ultimate solution. And it's just like that that mess needs to go viral. We got too much hate in the world where people are just trying to bring people down. You know, you, it, it, nobody's supporting, you know, a lot of people aren't supporting each other. You know, people will be thinking, oh, you know, you, people will support you until they see you as competition. And they'll be trying to bar every day on thing else you got up. And it's just like that in the world. But when you're allowing yourself to really be teachable. And knowing you, you have something that you can really project to the world where it's really helping people to find their solution towards their everyday struggle. You know, we go through those things. There'll be good days and there'll be bad days. But this is the things that we're experiencing to be able to, okay, this is this needs to change. This needs to let go. That person, I have to cut off. This person, I need to, you know, stay focused on. These are the th different things that I have to appreciate when it wasn't appreciated. You know, and this is the things that go on. So you keep growing. You know, even though it may be day by day, it can be a day that you're going to have a good day. A day will be feeling like a dreary day. But we're going through these changes. You know, life is getting better. You know, you have to really be able to know that, you know, if you're holding, you know, even if you're trying to hold yourself together today, I'm proud of you. You know, there'll be different times that we're really going through some stuff. We'll we be really battling some wars that many people don't know about, you know, and just really sending love and wishes towards your way, you know, because we're all going through different things and, you know, just sending love and blessings your way. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video with that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh terrell brown as well as drea much love to you if you're new to the channel drop the line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me if you're dealing with um any um you know i'll leave my contact information in the description box below if you want a spiritual network you know it'll be different things that we talk about it just be i learn it's just like i always see it as a, it's like a teacher student situation because we're all learning off of people we're all sharing our experiences you know there may be different things that i may be stumbling on to overcome and you got the you know you, you even got the experience for that or, or it's vice versa so i love to be able to network with people like that whatever we speak on is confidential i try to help out the best way i can you know i always tell people i don't judge anybody you know we all go through different things and sometimes it can be very out there where you know you don't tell people stuff because you're worried about being judged or you, people don't think you're crazy or whatever I'm just like with us empath and being hey, because there is nothing that it'll be a slim shocker for that. So, you know, I love to be able to connect with people on that um, and be able to help out the best way I can. You know, if you're interested in memes, you're like I put different posts up, you know, uh, different things that will uplift you, different things that will make you laugh uh, or different things that's occurring in the world. They're going through a lot of changes because right now we're going through psychic flus, spiritual flus, ascension, all kind of crazy. Um, Kundalini, you're, a lot of us is dealing with dark night of the soul. You know, you're really going through some ultimate changes right now that's really, really uncomfortable where you are probably been drawn to be in solitude you're having to take more rest than you usually do you're a lot more drained than you are you know your energy can be all way up here and then it'll drop you back down the way you need to plug back in so you know you're going through different stuff right there but yeah go ahead and check that out and i also have my podcast i don't know if i said that either or i do my podcast on there or even if you're interested in podcasting you know let me know i love to be able to help out i got me a cool app you know it's very simple i'm not tech savvy but this one's so easy and i love it you know because it helps you spread your word out you know there'd be different the app coordinators you know share your your different things and you can put it on a lot of platforms anyway 
you know, just to expand the listeners. But, you know, even if you feel um, generous enough, you know, donate towards the channel. Cash app is there as well. We greatly appreciate it. But whatever you're working on to manifest into your fruition, whatever vibes you need, consistency, patience, you know, clarity, all that stuff. I'm saying that a million times full. Don't sleep on yourself. Keep going. You have light and a humongous potential potential you matter you have a purpose in this world to go through ultimate change your enemies and the devil do everything to make you second guess that or contradict that you know you allow yourself to not give up because they make make you convinced of that today just because they know you know your blessings coming through tomorrow so stay consistent with yourself you know uh even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequency you never know those things can really take you a long way uh much love uh you know, namaste, shalom, I say, and peace, you know, make sure safe and responsible. Have a great weekend. Love y'all. Bye.